Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is your boy Smooth Cat yet again with another video. And and on this, in this video, I'm here to discuss another fighter who's making questionable moves and and kind of irritating me. Danny Garcia. Now, hey, I like Danny Garcia. I, 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 I like I like his bravado. I like his I like his certain the skill set he possesses. I like his power. And I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of Gar Danny Garcia. I really am. But he's, he's in his next fight. He's fighting uh, Rod Salko, a guy who's moving up from uh, lightweight to come up and make this fight. And don't get me wrong, Rod Salko, Salka, Salka, excuse me. He's a he's a good fighter. But honestly, Danny shouldn't be fighting a guy of Rod Salka's caliber. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, it is what it is. He this is, I mean, now if Danny wanted a tune-up fight, he should have said that. But honestly, Rod Salka do, doesn't deserve this. He doesn't, excuse me, he doesn't deserve this fight at all. He's done nothing, nothing to deserve this fight. His biggest win to date is against um, Emmanuel Lucero, the guy who, um, I believe, Pacquiao fought back in the day. If I'm exact, I, I might be mixing them up. But I believe Emmanuel Lucero is the uh, the guy the guy who Manny Pacquiao fought back at 126, 122, something like that. But anyways, he's fighting a guy. I mean, who's like I say, Salka is a good fighter, but Salka doesn't. I mean, he doesn't belong in the ring with Danny Garcia, in my opinion. He he truly doesn't. And and I'm not dissing Salka. I'm just saying, at the level where Danny Garcia is at, he 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 could have fought. He had a a bevy of, of opponents he could have fought that that were way more suitable than Salka. He could have went. He could have fought. Um, he could have gave a Herrera a rematch. He could have fought uh, Lamont Peterson, and that's a, that's another thing. I mean, wh what the fuck is the hold up with this fight? I mean, the fight has excitement, toe to toe brawl. I mean, not to. I mean, a skillful tactical brawl. I mean, this fight has great fight written all over it, but but yet Golden Boy slash uh, Heyman, they they they're, they're like they they they're, they're I don't know they they, they kind of taking their time on this fight, and honestly I, I don't I don't understand why both guys need a need a um, need this fight honestly, so we can actually so we can get a grasp of who the real king at 140 is, you know. Danny, Danny's done more. Danny has done a lot at 140 with a lot of his wins and things of that sort. But Lamont Peterson is also a champion, so let's make this fight happen. Let, let, let's see which which one of which guy is the better guy. But I, me, honestly, I, I'm I'm befuddled because I, I'm just wondering. I, I just I, I don't understand why. Why guys of Danny Danny Garcia's caliber? Why you sitting there? You you choosing to fight Rod Sal Salka, and it, and it's it's like I said, it's Lamont Peterson, Herrera, shit. You could he, he he could fight Hank Lundy. It's it's a it's a load of guys out there he can fight that are far that are far more suitable and and I, I fuck it I'm gonna say it and that that are overall better fighters than Rod Salka, but. He chose to fight soccer. Me, honestly, if if you wanted a tune-up fight, you should call it a tune-up fight. But if I'm in Zach, I believe after the Herrera fight, he said that he wanted one more fight at 140 to uh, to transition himself for uh, 147. Honestly, how, how is Salka, a naturally smaller man, gonna transition you for 147? I, I don't I don't understand the logic to that. I mean. Maybe somebody can sit down and explain that to me, but it sound like it sound like horseshit to me. Honestly, it's bullshit. There, there. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I, I'm kind of getting stuck because it's like, why, why fight Rod Sock out of everybody? He, he's, he's not, he's not even ranked. He's not ranked no nowhere in the rankings. But now, now just because I said he's not ranked by tomorrow, I'll. Uh, a lot of these sites are gonna have them ranked in the top, the top ten of the, um, in, in uh, 
the alphabet titles, rankings, all all the bells Danny got, he'll be ranked in the top ten somewhere, j just because it was mentioned that he's not ranked. But honestly, like I say, that Danny Garcia also Danny Garcia, you you, you could give Lucas Matisse a rematch. Don't get me wrong, you beat him, you beat him fair and square. But y'all had an exciting, exciting fan friendly fight that that all that all the fans I know I I enjoyed. It. I can't speak for everybody. But I enjoyed the fight. But I mean, I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna, um that's gonna be the end of the video. Hey, I, I wanna hear what you guys think on this situation. Me honestly, I mean I, I think this I think this is bullshit. Why why I keep putting Garcia and Peterson on the cards? Why put them on the same card and not have them fight each other? Um I don't know. I mean I what's in my opinion, what what is, what is a better transition? to move to 147 fight a guy like like peterson who's also said to be looking at moving up to 147 pretty soon himself so hey w w wouldn't that be the better fight to transition yourself to move up and wait just my thoughts though but like i say uh guys hit that like button for me go to the comment section leave comments in the comment section leave your comments down there in the comment section i will get to you also, hit that subscribe button for us, and like I say, we appreciate all the support you guys are giving us, and we want to just say, keep it up, and, and we're going to keep dropping these videos on you guys. It's your boy Smooth Cat. I'm out.